and welcome to the Stonehenge School BBC School News Report with me Liam and him Fraser. Today's headlines, a race to the White House between a man in a wig and a famous man's wife. Close to home, the teachers throw down on the curriculum lowdown. How to deal with the pressure of exams. Mental health, an increasing problem for young people. And what's that smell? Is it sweat? Is it football boots? No, that's the smell of victory. The anticipation of who will be ruling America has travelled all the way over here into the depths of Amesbury. Some students have been on the case, finding out what different people feel about the matter. Run VT. What do you think about Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton's policies? Well, Trump is a Republican and Clinton is a Democrat. I think the Republicans have strong views on the kind of America they want, uh, which differs from the Democrats. They may think the Democrats are a little soft on some policies, and the Republicans, like Donald Trump, in this modern time, is concerned about migrants coming into his country, about American status in the world. Uh, he feels that America present is under threat and he is a man to take it forward. But Clinton has a more traditional community-minded uh, views on the future for America. With strong views on the rights of women and the freedom to have an abortion, for example, if people want, and care for folks in the community. Local news now. The school's curriculum has been questioned by our reporters and both pupils and teachers Give the lowdown on this hoedown. Run VT. I'm here with Miss Blake. Miss um, Blake, is it okay if we ask you some questions about your school life? Of course it is. What advice would you give to the younger students about the new GCSEs? I would advise them to try as hard as they possibly can while they're in the younger years um, because it gets much harder when they're older and obviously to read lots of books as that will make them progress the most. And what is the difference between the teacher for Year 7s and the Year 11s? Um, so for Year 7 we try to make it very creative, um, enjoyable, something a bit different and we try to give a range of different things. When it comes to Year 11 we still try to make it creative and study a range of different things but we also have exam pressure so we do a lot of exam practice and looking at what the examiners are looking for. Exam season is ever nearing, the pressure is on to get those all important results, but here at Stonehenge we have decided to tackle this problem and want to get you through this difficult time. Now this help comes in the form of a public information video. Please do not be alarmed though, the moustache is not real. Run VT. How to survive your GCSE exams for dummies. Our local idiot here is currently undertaking his GCSE exams. Here are some of the most important procedures to remember. Step 1. Turn up on time. Our local dummy is not where he should be. Step 2. Remove all items of clothing that are not part of your school uniform. Whoa! Hang on! I said everything that isn't uniform. Step 3. You need to bring your own equipment that you need for your exam. I think those will be supplied for you. I mean the smaller items that you will need. And you need those for your exam, do you? You need pens, pencils, a ruler, a rubber, and a calculator if necessary. There we go. And remember to remove any paper from your pockets. Don't smile, you idiot. It's an exam. Step four. When sat down, make sure you pay close attention to everything the invigilator is telling you. That means you... 
Yes, you! Ensure you write your name and any other information on the paper correctly. Well done. You have indeed spelt your own name correctly. Oh, hang on. Probably should have mentioned before. It is crucial that you revise for your paper. You have, haven't you? That reminds me. Step five. Stay calm. Under no circumstances, panic. Oh dear, not again. What a devilishly handsome local idiot, although I don't really like the bloke in the tag. <clears throat> on to a serious matter now. The number of young people suffering from mental health issues is on the up. We've sent out some of our best reporters to find out more. Run VT. Awareness of mental health in younger people is a very serious issue. So you're able to talk to Arsenko to find out more. So, what are your views on mental health? Um, obviously, as a SENCO, in charge of pastoral and social and emotional mental health, um, I think it's really important that we look after mental health of all people. Do you think that there is enough awareness for mental health? And do you try and do anything to raise awareness for it? Um, it's improving, but there still needs to be more awareness. Um, I think there's been a lot of stigmas attached to mental health and so I'm constantly striving to raise awareness. Um, it is an illness, it's something that can't be seen but it's still there. Yeah. Um, if you could change one of the misconceptions about mental illnesses, which one would you change? Um, I think it's the fact that people say, oh they're a nutter, they're a psycho and the fact that people are worried to come forward about mental health because of that. So it's changing um, the views of society that actually it's nothing to be scared of. It's something that um, a lot of us will experience, will either have in our own lifetimes or will know someone that have in their lifetime. I think it's one in four possibly people that at some point in their life um, can suffer depression or another mental illness. So it's yeah, it's to change that view of people being scared to come forward if they have got problems. Kicking, dribbling and shouting, and no, we're not talking about babies, but our school football team. The year eights are still enjoying the taste of victory after their latest win. A run VT. I'm Megan. And I'm Sean, and we are here with Finley and Callum interviewing them about their football team. So, Finley, it's been a long season. How many matches have you played? Uh, we've played about six matches. Um, how many have you won and lost? Uh, we've won about four and we've lost two or something like that. Okay. Okay, and Finley, how do you train to be ordered to win these matches? Uh, we start off by warming up, um, by stretching our, like, um, muscles off and then we, um, do, like, passing drills and shooting drills. Yeah. Cool. Um, can you reveal any of your tactics to win? Uh, tactics, um, pass, make sure we keep a wide space, look for the areas and use the heads. Okay. So what do you do to raise morale before heading into a match? Um, so we try to encourage everyone, we try to um, like mix up the team so we don't always play the same people in the same matches. And finally, following our proud one year tradition, some say they are the highlight of the school year. Some say they're hideously rigged. Although all we know is, it's the teacher bathers! <laughs> First up, the funniest teacher with joint winners, Mr. Jameson and Mrs. Byer. <laughs> the teacher with the best films goes to Mr. Cottrell. <laughs> best cover teacher, Mr. Stanford. <laughs> the best dressed, Mrs. Jackson. Most likely to survive a zombie apocalypse, Mr. Granger. And the teacher with the most unique teaching methods, Mr. Langley. Remember, if you didn't win this year, it's because your dress sense is poor, you don't put on enough films, or you are going to die by being eaten by a zombie. A list of these awards and some of our other stories can be found online on our website. And before we go, we just have time for the weather with him. So the weather today has been much better than yesterday and is also much calmer with a few spots of rain coming in in the Midlands. Uh, the temperature was around 9 degrees throughout the day, so no need for thermals. 
Uh, there are bright spells in Scotland with a band of rain coming in, uh, but more rain in Wales, so no surprise there. Our school reporter Ryan has ventured towards our school field and has caught some great pictures of our bleak weather here at the Stonehenge School. So here we go, in the morning, quite overcast, but by the end of the day it was quite sunny with a few clouds. But overall a much better bout of weather today. Good night.